as we hook up to our Father in the Lord for the message, and then we continue from where we stop, and the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Over to you, engineers.
trying to swallow, trying to speak at the same time, and the muscle got stuck in his throat. Before he got to the hospital, he was dead. How many muscles are through his swallowing? And I mean, as the doctor, they will tell you there is a valve between where the voice is coming from and where the food should go down. And you are eating and talking, and the wife, the valve is going like this, sweeping, swinging, swinging, right, left, right, left, so that you can eat and talk and not choke. Somebody in charge. So that's why David said in Psalm 108, verse 1, Psalm 108, verse 1, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Then he said, My heart is filled within me. My heart is filled within me. I will praise the Lord. Then he went on to say in Psalm 34, from verse 1 to 3. Psalm 34, from verse 1 to 3, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His prayer shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless him at all times. I'm not going to wait till Thanksgiving Sunday before I bless the Lord. I'm not going to wait till the annual Thanksgiving before I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord at all times. I bless the Lord every day. Why? Because, just like that lady said, it's not everybody who slept who woke up. And I woke up in the morning and I stretched and said, Ah, oh, to God, it is to God. Satan, you lose again. Because there are some of us, the devil does not want us to wake up. Because he knows that each time we wake up, there is trouble for him. He knows that if we can just kill this one before the morning, the trouble will be less. And while we are sleeping, I'm telling you, nobody is powerful when he's sleeping. But only there is somebody who neither sleeps nor slumber. Oh, those of you who are high and mighty people, you have bodyguards, etc., etc. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. If you rely on bodyguards, you are dead. Oh, we have quite a few of them at Redemption Camp. <laughs> and, and I remember one occasion, I think we just finished the convention and everybody was resting and I was going around at night uh, praising God. And uh, I got to one night guy. He was sitting down on the chair and there was a second chair beside him. He was fast asleep. So I sat on the chair next to him, listening to his uh, snoring. But then I think the mosquito was passing by and he wanted to slap the mosquito. He nearly slapped me. <laughs> and I, I, I went on and I saw another one. This one wasn't even pretending. He removed his shoes. He put two chairs together and was laying down there and was fast asleep. I just took his uh, torchlight took it some distance away and left it so that when he wakes up in the morning, he will know he had had a visitor. There is only one fellow who neither sleeps nor slumber. He's never tired. He's watching over you, watching over your children, watching over your business, settling whatever problems you have tonight so that Quitting the endure for night, the joy may come in the morning. Will you shout hallelujah to me? Then David says something. He said, Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. Now I ask you the question. What is the meaning of magnify? To magnify means make bigger. How can you make bigger someone who 
is bigger than the biggest. How can you enlarge God? <laughs> we sing this song, we say, Devil, and I can contain it. While he's sitting in heaven, he's using the earth as his foot to. And yet he said, Magnify him, make him bigger. And we all know the secret of uh, Juju musician, how they make their money. That is in those days when you used to go to a party by the, <laughs> by the street side. As soon as they arrived, they sent the uh, apprentice to go around, check the names of the, of the big, big people. Big people are those who are wearing big clothes, so people do the matter, borrow the clothes. And as soon as they begin to play, they, 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 they zero in on your name. And they begin to call you names, big thing, titles, emergency contractor, uh, this, that, and your head swells. The money you don't want to spend, you spend. You want to take the money out of your pocket, something within you will be telling you, hey, you borrow that money, you say, shut up. When we get home, we shall settle that. When you praise the Almighty God, He says, swells. The Bible says He inhabits the praises of His people. The Bible says He is seeking for those who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. When you praise Him the way He should be praised, He will leave His throne and pay you a visit. And when He pays you a visit, Yokes will be destroyed. Prison doors will be opened. And mighty things will begin to happen. So much so that even your enemies will become your servants. So David now went ahead and concluded with a question What shall I render? He said, This God who had done so much for me he took me from nothing. I am now a king. His gentleness has made me good. You read that passage very well. He talks about how God has handed over his enemies to him. How he could now deal with the enemies whichever way he wanted, etc., etc. He said, what can I render? That should be a question you should ask yourself this morning. God has been good to me. I don't know about you. You may think you are nothing, but there are several people who are jealous of you. There are people who are praying that if only I can become like you, God, I will be satisfied. God has been good. I've told you of a year before, when uh, in December I was at the camp and I, I was prepared, I was trying to prepare for uh, the New Year service. I said, Lord, it's just the truth also. You're my daddy, I'm your son. I know I'm your favorite, so I can talk. There's nobody here, just the truth us. I will tell the people to praise you on Sunday. But honestly speaking, I have nothing to thank you for. You didn't do anything for me. So, but I will tell the people to praise you, you know, I will do the job of a pastor. And he spoke back to me. And I'm sure God is speaking to somebody today. Somebody who should be more grateful than he or if she is. He said, son, is that so? I said, <laughs> that's the truth of the Lord. A whole year passed. I can't think of a single miracle. I said, uh, take your exercise book. So I took my exercise book. I said, I, I, I just want to ask you some questions. You write it down. He said, uh, January 1 of last year, you 
you slept and you woke up on January 2, I said yes. Is that a miracle? Ah. He said, how many people slept on January 1 and didn't wake up on January 2? Well, there might be some people. And incidentally, just by the end of the year, that year, there was a story of a trailer going to a lorry, got to a pattern, and was about to take a bend. And the driver lost control, and the trailer hit a house and killed somebody who was sleeping on his bed. That friend who didn't travel, he didn't go anywhere. He was sleeping on the bed, and death met him there. Uh, um, did you wake up on the second? I say yes. The second, we put that down as one. By the time he had been talking to me for 10 minutes, I was flat on my face. But I thank you. Because he asked me, how many times have you traveled and you came back home safely? He said, are you sure every driver coming in the opposite direction, how many of them do you know who are on drugs? How many of you know who are demon possessed? How many of you know whose relatives are pursuing him to make sure that he won't arrive? How come they didn't branch across the road to you? Do you think it is because you are very clever? That's why you travel every day, you return, you go out, you come in. And I said, I apologize. New every morning is his mercy. It's of the mercy of God that we are not consumed. Because he kept on renewing it every day. You can move your hand. And when he says clap your hand, you can't clap. When David said, when David said, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. <laughs> Do you know the implication of some of the things this fellow said, David? This very grateful fellow. When he said, all that is within me, bless his holy name, do you know if there's any problem with what is inside of you? It could lead to death. Do you know that there is something within you that they call the voice box? That thing that produces the voice. Do you remember the story of that great a socialite who had a stroke, the kind of stroke that would take away the voice. That I said I visited in the UK with a common friend. And it took him 30 minutes to say to us by signs that his wife, who was sitting by his side when we came in, he is coming back again. He took 30 minutes to demonstrate that. Uh, how long does it take you to say glory be to God? <laughs> Do you know there is something within you? Because if he said forget not all his benefits. Do you know there is something that is very, very precious to you that is called memory? Ability to remember. Have you ever seen anybody suffering from memory loss? Nothing can be as painful as that. They won't even recognize their child. They won't, oh God, I decree in the name that's above every other name, you will never lose your memory. As some of you who remember the story I told you before, when I was at Elisha Grammar School in the 1950s, there was a madman sitting always in front of the gate. And any time we wanted to learn serious history, we would buy a keg of our wine, take it to him. After he has taken two of he said, hey, what history do you want to hear? Yeah. European
India, America, British, and then you tell them, uh, okay, European history, uh, all right, from what date to what date, and then we begin. We were the one who said, okay, we will come back. Because he was a professor of history, and something went wrong. He knows all the history. But when you ask him, what is your name, he can't remember. When were you born, he can't remember. What's your address here, he doesn't know. If I ask you today, what's your name, can you remember? If I ask you, where were you born, can you remember? If I ask you to stand up, do you know what that means? If I ask you to shout hallelujah, do you know what that means? David said, what can I render? As a mighty question you must ask this year. Because if we don't thank God for 2022, eh, he's waiting. <laughs> 2023, I just started. Ignore him for all he did in 2022. You will have him to deal with in 2022. Don't let anybody deceive you. Not everyone who said Happy New Year today will be around in a month's time. But you survived thus far. You can keep on surviving if you know how to say Thank you, Lord. That's why those of you <laughs> who are not born again, you don't even know the danger you are in. Particularly <laughs> in Nigeria of today. And those who came to watch night yesterday, when I was giving them a little bit of the prophecies for the year, and I saw some of them looking at me saying, Daddy, you didn't say anything about Nigeria. I said, ah. <laughs> In Ghana, they made a law. The police said, anybody who gives any prophecy that can frighten must be arrested. And that is Ghana. <laughs> Ghana is next door to Nigeria. <laughs> the elders have been saying, I've got a word to do it. If you don't give your life to Jesus Christ soon, and I mean very, very soon, God have mercy on you. This year is going to be a year of wonders. But there are two kinds of wonders. Two kinds. Good and bad. When a woman who is 90 something years old, give birth to a child, that's a wonder. When a king became an animal, that's a wonder. Which one do you want? If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I'm going to come from one to five. Come to the altar, we we'll pray for your salvation. And then we get you out of the way and the rest of us can then go ahead and praise God like we ought to. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, come now as I'm counting. One. If you want to give your life to Jesus, you have to have found the Lord. Two. Stand on your feet wherever you are. Come to the altar as that is counting. So that I can pray for you. Oh, this will be very you want to give your life to Jesus. Come. The Lord wants to 
will you come now? Ultras, let the red them to the altar. Those of us in children church, in the teen church, those under the canopy, you want to give your life to Jesus. And you begin to come now. One of the things you can render is your life. Render your life to Jesus. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? As they are clapping, let us also clap. Let's celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Any of us that want to surrender our life to Jesus. Can we come over now? Can we come over now? Can we come now? Come and give your life to Jesus. Let's stretch out our hand and intercede. God bless you, sir. Just stand at the altar. Let's stretch out our hand and pray. For those. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Oh, mercy. Please, oh, Savior. Oh, have mercy. Look down from heaven. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. No, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Father, my God, I just want to say thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day that you and the Lord have made. Bless your name for those who have come forward to surrender their life to you. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Let your blood wash away their sins. Amen. Save their souls today. Amen. And write their names in the book of life. Amen. And let them remain yours forever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I thought the blood God would say Father, better. Amen. Amen. So committing all your children. They will be praising you today. Lord God Almighty, please accept their praises. Amen. And as it is written that when praises go up, blessings will come down. The more they praise you, the more I request that to bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord God Almighty, when David said, What shall I render? What, what, what can I do for God? suddenly decided, I will build a house for God. My Father, my God, I pray that your children this year will build houses for you. Amen. So that we will build houses for them. Amen. Thank you, my Father, my God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let me do it on behalf of daddy. Come and take a handshake. God bless you, really. This day will be special for you. In the name of Jesus. And you are going to be great. In Jesus' name. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Kindly follow that, our sister one minute. Let's put those hands together for Jesus. Let's put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
just stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. We want to give God praise. Just wave your hands. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. If you can remember all his faithfulness towards you, towards your family, towards your children, towards your spouse, all the good thing God did in 2022, let God hear your voice. Brother, this is not murmuring. Just lift up your voice and just give God praise. Just sing a song to him. Just give him a worship. Just give him adoration. Just magnify him. Just exalt him. Just check out how good he is. How marvelous, how wonderful, how glorious, how awesome our God is. Can you go ahead and begin to appreciate him? Oh, our God desires to be praised. He desires to be worshipped. You are standing here this morning, not by mind, not by power. It is just the grace of God. It is by the last mercy that we are not consumed. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. Appreciate him. Show God gratitude, gratitude for all he has done. Oh, let him hear your voice of worship. Just magnify the Lord. Just magnify the Lord. Just magnify the Lord. Just magnify the Lord. Just magnify the Lord today. Give him praise. 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 Remember all that he did for you in year 2022. And tell him thank you. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you have been so faithful. Lord, you have been so kind. Lord, you have been so caring. Lord, you have been so helpful. Lord, you have been there for me. Thank you for Johnny Messes. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for good health. Thank you for my memory. Thank you for the perfect functioning of my body system. Thank you for not allowing anything go wrong. Thank you for fighting my battle. Thank you for all around victory. Thank you for sustaining me. Thank you for being my sustainer. Thank you for being the pillar of my life. But then open your mouth and appreciate God. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Give me praise. You could open your eyes, you can see. Your ears can hear. Your head could be lifted. You can stand on your leg. You can walk with your leg. Just appreciate the Almighty God. Just appreciate the Almighty God. Oh, He desires to be praised. He desires to be praised. The God that did not allow you to go about walking naked on the road. Hey, the God that clothed you. The God that put shelter over your head. The God that put food on your table. Can you appreciate God? The God that gives you the money to spend. Give God all the glory. All the glory. All the glory. You have no cause to weep. You have no cause to mourn. You have no cause to sorrow. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Masuta dala. She pale brokoto gazandali. Kaka aye katoli aba. She telebos kata. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Don't be tired of thanking God. Don't be tired of worshiping Him. Blessed be thy name in highest. Thank you, Lord. 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 For all the battles you fought for us. For all the victories. That we are grateful. Almighty God, we are grateful. King of glory, we are grateful. Excellent God, we are grateful. Blessed be the name of God. Samolema Santa Lebradeka Santa Lee. Thank God for every member of your household. Thank God for everything He did. Blessed be the name. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worship. I thought the Lord will hear your amen loud and clear. May the Almighty God accept our praises, accept our worship, accept our adoration, accept our thanksgiving. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Can you put those hands together for Jesus and you give the Lord a big shout?
Let somebody make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 